Hi everybody, this is Zach with uh, Amplify My Business. Uh, I'm the Systems Manager here and I just wanted to go over uh, kind of a tutorial and a overall view of what the CRM looks like and some of its basic capabilities. The first page that you're brought to in the CRM is called the Dashboard. This is a general overall view uh, that's that you can see everything. So you can see opportunities, you can see uh, monetary values of leads, you can see conversion rates. You've got different reporting tools such as a running total funnel and a stage distribution based off of where how many leads you have in the different stages with uh, depending on your pipeline. Uh, tasks, you can see a general overall task depending on the user and then obviously their due date and whether they're completed or not. You can see uh, a kind of a source report if you've imported multiple lists uh, via CSV file. You can see, you can integrate your Facebook account and see how much, and see kind of that reporting and see how much you spent and what's your average clock, you know, cost per click, um, all of that, including if you wanted to link your uh, business page, your business website to Google and start sending out reviews, you could also see those as well. So that's kind of the dashboard. The majority of our investors and the majority of the time you will be spending is probably in your conversations and opportunity stages. Opportunities, this is the heart and soul of the CRM right here. This is where you're going to find your pipeline and where you can see all of your leads. So as you can see, we've got new lead, attempt to contact, six-month nurture, contacted, follow-up appointment set, offer made under contract, and closed deal. So this is part of the seller's pipeline. Now, we have four pipelines that come as part of the CRM. We've got our cash buyers, our rent-to-own buyers, our listing, and our listings pipeline. All of these four, right, all of those four pipelines are designed to help you build your real estate business. Now, how this works is that we've built these out to where these specific stages, for example, like new lead, attempt to contact, and six-month nurture, all have what are called automatic follow-up campaigns. So a series of text messages uh, and emails and uh, phone calls and where it will dial on your phone saying, hey, this is the new lead, right? Uh, go ahead and press any key on your phone to connect with them. Then you'll press a key on your phone and it will go ahead and it will call them right from your phone. Uh, when that happens, obviously, you can follow up with them um, and you can see that. Now, when you have a lead right in your pipeline like this, it's really easy to move them into different stages. For the most time, for the majority of the time, you'll be moving these manually in order to help you keep organized. And it's really easy to do that by just simply clicking, dragging, and dropping into whichever stage you want. Uh, now, obviously, when you click, drag, and drop them into, right, for example, attempted contacts, this will trigger a seven-day follow-up sequence, right? Now, you can come in here under marketing, and you can read those. Here, right, here's the seller's pipeline, and now I can see this is the attempted contact man. I can come in here. I can edit it. I can reword it, right? Uh, they, there's just lots of different capabilities this has. The nice part about all of this is that we can organize these campaigns by folders so that way you don't feel quite so overwhelmed. Uh, the other thing coming back here to opportunities is that um, you can see basic information just on what the contact or what the lead looks like. If I click on this white box, I can see their basic contact information. So I can see the email, I can see their phone number, and then obviously if I want to add value or if I want to change the owner, right, I'm happy to do that. If you've got more than one person on your team, I can keep track of notes that are here. I can add tasks, right, to follow up with them and including setting appointments. I can do all of that just within there. Now, the other thing that's really important about opportunities and leads if I really want to see the information for example that they're filling out if you've connected a form on your website or you're using your own Facebook marketing or you're using our lead generation platform is that if I click on this name see how it underlines it if I click on the name it'll bring me to the lead profile view now here I can see the conversations that are going out it looks just like your phone and um, and I can also see uh, when the contact was added in any type of history, 
um, with that right when they came in if there was a no added or a uh, or a task added. If I come in here to additional info, I can also see and or enter any of the information that we've got these boxes here. So I can enter the property address. Um, I can enter their city, their state. These are all called custom fields and where you can customize this to be whatever you want it to be. And then again, obviously, you've got your activity, your tasks, your notes, and you can create appointments and set them. So this is really important for you to recognize, right? And if I want to continue to follow up with them, right, I can just type in a simple message, right, that says, you know, hello or whatever you want it to be. And the same thing with the email is that I can, it will automatically populate my email in here that I've got in for whatever email that you're using as your company email or your personal email, whichever you want it to be, and create a subject. Now I can also attach files and use templates. You can create email and text templates in, in the CRM as well. So moving on, I'm going to come back and I'm going to go to conversations over here, which is where you'll spend a lot of your time as well. Here you can still see that. You can see right which the number coming in from. So if I come in here and I'm going to go into all, where is I can see all of my conversations. Then I can come in here and I can either call out from the CRM by clicking on this. Um, I can continue to send SMS or email. Or this is really important as well. This DND button is a do not disturb button that will kind of, if they tell you that you're, they're no longer is interested or that please take me off your list, then you can go ahead and enable this DND button. The other heart and soul uh, through this, as you can see, is you've got scheduling, which is a calendar that you can go ahead and you can link to your Google calendar. Uh, as of right now, that is the only Google integration that we can do. We do not integrate with Google Voice. Um, and any emails sent right through your conversations do not appear in your personal Gmail or your work email. Uh, Gmail account. It's only your Google Calendar that this can integrate with. Uh, however, it is nice because you can send out text messages and where somebody can book an appointment on your calendar, which is on the CRM, and it will add it to your Google Calendar and then send you a reminder. Um, same thing going through here. The way that all of this is possible are through triggers. These triggers are really important because they are if-then statements saying, if this happens, then I want it to do this, which is why when you move different people into different pipelines or you move one lead to a different stage, right, it will trigger a specific event. Um, that, is, that is the whole basis of automation through this CRM is that we use triggers to say, if this happens, then this will happen. Again, this is kind of the basic overall view. Um, the other things that are really important is that you can uh, go ahead and import your own list via CSV file, like I said. Um, you can control and see all of your contacts through what are called smart lists, and you can import and export them. You can add them to different things and where you can see all of them out. If you had multiple people working on your team, you could see who they're assigned to and filter them out like this. Uh, that's really important as well. So lots of different things about this, but I kind of just wanted to give an overall tutorial view of what the you know what the CRM has its capabilities of and what are and what are the specific things that it does. One last bit and maybe a really key component in here is that because of the marketing abilities, we can create bulk requests, meaning that you can do text blasts or email blasts through the CRM as well. It's very easy and simple, and uh, there will be more videos on that if you're interested. Uh, but basically, you can go in here and you can set it up to where it'll send it on a specific date and time. And uh, you can tell it who it wants to run with and the tags that it wants to go with. So again, I hope this was helpful and I hope it was interesting to you. Uh, let us know if you're further interested in buying or uh, getting started with us uh, with the CRM. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started. We're excited to meet with you. Thanks.